早上好 ，Good morning. Yes, I always sleep fully clothed and with the camera on. But that being said, I got the couch last night, so I'm wrecked. Jordan, how was the bed? Oh, oh. How was the bed? Whoa, whoa, whoa! The bed was actually amazing. Yeah, I also sleep the... fully clothed. Oh, you sleep with your hat on and your shoes on. Let's get some light in here. Yes. What? <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? My name is Mark. And my name is Jordan. And we are here together, invited by the tourism board, Visit Wuhan, to experience what the Tri City has to offer. So, we are videographers and we are excited to document our experience here in Wuhan. So, Visit Wuhan has set up challenges for us. These are sort of mission cards that we are going to receive and we are going to have to complete as the day goes on. Mission number one We are heading to the Qingchuan Pavilion. Ooh, so what about what's the mission? Wall? And we have to take three wow photos. Oh, okay. Mission number two. Uh, mission number two. Bing! A Wuhan <laughs> hanging hot pot barbecue. The challenge is to eat the crab and the Wuhan hanging hot pot. Local <gasps> Chinese cuisine, which is, I love Chinese food, so, so that was an easy challenge. And I've only really had the Australian Chinese, so. So this will be good. Authentic, this will be good. <laughs> authentic Chinese experience. Number three, Zhi Yin Hao, which is. I believe it's a <laughs> cruise ship with an interactive theater experience because the challenge is we have to dance with the actors on the boat. So we'll see what that looks like. I'm excited for that one. Wow, that's awesome. All right, well, let's get the day going. <laughs> Wow, we got a gift! Bye bye! This is the best! That guy was so nice and skilled. Oh, you have a man. I'm not a man. I'm not a man. I'm not a man. It's hard for a tone deaf person like me to figure this one out. <laughs> So one thing about China is that the history dates back so long. For example, this building was built 1800 years ago. It used to be a stronghold fortress from the Three Kingdoms period. So the Three Kingdoms period was 200 AD. Obviously it's restored. If a building's 100 years old in Canada, we like preserve it, build up walls, fence it off. It's like 100 years old, this is 1800 years old. setting up my WeChat profile. I like it. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna like myself. Narcissist. All right, here we are by Hu Wuxiang, the beginning of the Chinese food street in Wuhan. And we're gonna go in there and try some delicious local foods. Wow. I'm excited for my assorted hangbao. Bite the hole. Get the juice. More noise the better. A little ginger stick and dip. Perfect execution. Mm. Still remains my favorite food. Yum. <laughs> Oh. Mm, I melted. This is the famous local noodle. It's called Raga Yan. And it basically it's seasoned with two types of sesame. Simple, but beauty and simplicity. Mmm. Sesame butter is smooth, creamy. Works with the texture of the noodles. 
All right, this is stinky tofu, basically. It smells so bad. Anytime you walk by one of these vendors, you're like, oh, what's that smell? And it's, it's chow tofu, it's a stinky tofu. But apparently it tastes really good, so let's try it. Doesn't smell great. <laughs> wow. Doesn't taste great either. No, that's a loss. I'm out. Uh, <laughs> is, that, is that bad? It's like, guinea, guinea, guinea. I don't want this. All right, that's it for the food street. All right, we have arrived to the Yangtze River Bridge that connects Hanyang to Wuchang. And when was this bridge built? Funny you ask, Mark. <laughs> the bridge was actually started to be built in 1955, and two years later, it came to completion, connecting both the cities. This bridge actually has a subway running through the bottom, like a metro running through the bottom, and the car's on top, and it connects Hanyang to Wuchang. And there's a little love story fable behind this bridge. So if you walk across this bridge with a special someone, and you make it to the end, they'll be in love forever. <laughs> are we gonna take a little stroll along this bridge? You wanna walk across the bridge with me? I don't know, who else are we gonna walk across the bridge with? <laughs> all right. BFFs, don't go too far away. We have to go across together. No, 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 I'm finding a girl, a nice Chinese girl to take me in. In this spot right here, you can see all three of the cities. Because this city is huge, 11 million people. It's like five times the size of London in geographic size. And right now you can see all the three tri-cities that make up the one city. We just learned something. We learned that my favorite app, TikTok, we knew it was Chinese, but we didn't know that the app is actually not called TikTok here. No. It's called Doing. And it means Shake music. Directly translated shake music. So oh, yeah. We're almost at the end, George. Are we gonna commit? End of our, across? We're nearly at the end of our friendship. <laughs> <laughs> the end of the bridge. There it is. Are you ready for this? Oh my god. Are you ready? Look, look oh. at this. Oh, my oh, are we ready? Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah, let's go, George. <laughs> we got <laughs> Sorry, George. What are you doing? What are you, doing? Uh, you walked across. <laughs> I'm free. I'm gonna. Not... Where's she going? <laughs> My wife is walking away. This one. Oh, he's still <laughs> looking. Come in, minutes. I'm waiting. I'm, I'm waiting, waiting, waiting for issues. a girl. I'm waiting for a girl. Oh, oh well. Chocolate is really good. We've made it to the Yellow Crane Tower, right there. And we're gonna ring this huge bell. What's the luck? What's the good luck? Nine times is the best wish. So nine times mean you get to wish for something that is everlasting, because jiao in Chinese also means jiao, which is everlasting. And what I'm gonna wish for everlasting health, because without your health, you've got nothing. So that's my Chinese wish for today. All right, I'm gonna hit this bell nine times. I gotta straight up be honest with you, that was 10. That was definitely not. <laughs> Thank you.
arrived to San Mao Jiangsha. That's a restaurant that we're eating at. And we are ordering some Wuhanese specialty cuisine. The first one we're gonna try is a thousand year egg. The name? Pidan. Oh, the name in Chinese, yeah. Pidan. Yeah. Pidan. I've only ever seen this online before. But yeah, black egg basically. Yikes. It takes we weeks to prepare, but made with clay and ash in the preserving process. Yeah. Time to order. It's time to order. All right. Uh, Wuhan San Mao steamed prawn. eBay I'm glad I have. Uh, no, Jordan's learning. He got. He said the right tones on Pidan <laughs> once. Jordan said one word correct. Hey, it's pretty good for day one. I remember me day one. Actually, I don't remember day one, but it's good stuff. Oh, it's slippery. Whoa! How do you even grab that thing? Oh, look at it's oh grippy. There's the black egg. That thing it looks aged. Cheers. <laughs> Ding. The yolk has the texture of peanut butter, but the egg is like a little bit gelatin. But it tastes like an egg. It's actually kind of creamy. I'll have another one of those. <laughs> All right, the cold medial has arrived. Clay pot. Oh, hear that sound? That's a, that's a nice sound. One more time. Oh, so let's. Oh, very sweet, but not too strong. Pretty good. Pretty mild. I feel like Dexter. Go for a big one. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Look at this crayfish. I need to go for a big bowl. Absolute delicacy here in Wuhan. How do you do it? I don't know. I don't know. Holy flip. <laughs> it's so spicy. <laughs> ah, oh, that's spicy. Do you have any napkins? You don't want to eat those hot spices. Here we go. Oh, hot pot oh, is this. What just arrived? A bullfrog <laughs> just arrived. There's no way. Just. Bullfrog turned Bull, up at our doorstep. We ordered hot pot and it's bullfrog hot pot. Well, this is good. Yeah. Pig's feet. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> frogs and pig's feet in there. So this dish is apparently very popular in south parts of China. Pig's feet and bullfrog. Hey, gotta try it. Here it is. Frog leg. What is this one? Really good. Very mild, light tasting meat. Similar to like a Far chicken a breast. Bit. Pretty good. Who would have thought our adventures brought us here to Wuhan and eating Bullfrog and Pigfoot. Not me. <laughs> Cheers. Well, here we are. <laughs> Cheers. That was a wild experience for our first meal, basically, in Wuhan. Straight into Straight it. Straight into all the, these cultural dishes. Pretty wild, but that was fun. And I'm pretty full right now. Mm -hmm. All right, we are headed now on the Drifting Theater, the Jing Hao, and we are going to go see a theater show on the water. And we don't really know what it's about other than the fact it's dated back to 1930 and it's going to show us kind of what the times were like then through theater. The interesting thing is that we have to participate because of an interactive show. And according to our challenge set by Visit Wuhan, it says dance with actors on the boat. Let's go. The interactive experience I guess has begun because we are going to have to get dressed up like that guy there. Oh, I need, some, I need some help. I'm suited up in my, I guess, traditional clothing of the 1930s. Hey, whoa, detective. This is great. You look, I love the setup. So even though the show has begun, we're still off the boat, looking at the actors on the boat. This is cool, look at this. Have you ever seen that trend online where everyone freezes? Is it a flash mob? No, no, it's like a freeze mob. I forget, a flash mob is where they dance. Still frozen. In this interactive play, we move to the next scene. The characters are frozen, and we move to the next scene. This is crazy. Moving to the next one. Oh! <laughs> 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 
This light show is crazy. Every single night over Wuhan. Crazy. Wuhan is so romantic. <laughs> wow. Wow, look at that city. Dang. And that wraps it up for our Visit Wuhan trip. We had a few days here in Wuhan and it was pretty incredible. We wrap it up on the Yangtze River cruise, looking at this amazing light show, super unique and something I've never seen before. So big thanks to Visit Wuhan for hosting us, Insta360 for providing some of the behind the scenes shots. And if you are gonna come to this beautiful place, which I think you should, you should definitely bring me because I'd love to come back. <laughs>